check up on our children. And thank you, Techie Lemon. I appreciate your compliment. Aesthetic is what we do here at Aqua Lounge, and we like to bring it in quantities. Now, we might be getting a fair bit of folks for this segment, because we'll be doing a C-Man Live with a twist tonight. That twist is that we're giving away a code to Blue Sky. What's a Blue Sky, you might ask? Blue Sky. The little app. I've been making the rounds lately. Some say it's a Twitter killer. Say, another flash in the pan. What is it? Well, we're not quite sure, but we do know that it's invite only. I have one, one, one code. And I tell you what you're going to have to do in order to get your chance to grab it. I'm going to paste a little link in the chat here to invite you to the Aqua Lounge Discord server. Bam. That is a link that will help you join the Aqua Lounge Discord server, which you're going to want to do if you want to get that Blue Sky code, or if you want to participate in this little segment called Seaman Live. If you want to be in Seaman Live, make sure you have a microphone hooked up to Discord. Otherwise, it will not work. We need a mic. That's what you're going to want to do. Let's hop on over. Join. Oh, yeah, we got some people joining. We got Condition Bleen, uh, Sakeyake, Dazi, all joining the Discord. Very good. So y'all hang in there for that Blue Sky code. I'm going to ask a question to give away that code in chat, the Discord, and the Aqua Lounge General at the end of this segment. But for now, it's time for some Seaman. And if you want to talk to Seaman and have your very own chance to communicate with him, make sure you got your microphone handy and be in the Aqua Lounge General as well. Let's see what Leonard has to say. What do you think of Blue Sky, Leonard? Oh, we already missed him. Too bad. Hello. You miss. The seamen look okay. Is that what you call them, plural? That's a little awkward. Gonna have some tunes. Alright, very good. So, if you want to have your chance to talk to these little fishy fellas, you're gonna want to hop on over to the Discord right around now. Oh. Question to ask. Oh, I know a good one. Let's get these fish nice and temperate. Get that air up. Alright. Now, I hope y'all are ready and waiting in the Discord, because I'm gonna post a little question there. Does know words. He did say parap, but 
but uh, Seaman does know words outside of the vocab list that I have available. So there are all sorts of secrets that he can be holding, including a knowledge of the fundamentals, drum and bass. All right, let's see how we're doing. We've only got four entries over in the Discord, so going once, going twice, get your number in, and closed. All right, I'm not going to say what the number is, but I am going to say, condition Blaine, I hope you have a microphone available, because you are going to talk to Seaman. Let me just add you to the Seaman live voice channel real quick. All right, you should be added to the Seaman Live voice channel. Hello, Condition Blaine. You are live. On, you are live on the air. Welcome to Seaman Live. Wait, hold on. Do I need to mute? The, um, do I need to mute the stream? Uh, is it like one of those calling into TV situations? Yes, it is one of those calling into TV situations. But if you are okay. Um, I can't hear your copy of the stream, so I think you're all good. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do is I pasted in uh, the Twitch chat, and I'll just paste it in the Discord, too, a list of all the things that Seaman recognizes, but it's not complete. Um, we found out last time that Seaman does recognize some words that aren't on this list, but this is a good vocabulary guide to work off of, and um, you can have your chance uh, take a look through this guide and... Um, you can pick a word, or two, or three, to say to our little fish fellas. But um, I do ask every guest a question of the day when they join, and um, my question to you is, uh, oh, hello, first of all, uh, before I ask you that question, hello, um, Molar Eclipse, um, what's going on? We are talking to Seaman here in chat today. Um, I'm going to resend you, uh, since you just joined, I'm going to send you a link to the Aqua Lounge Discord, where if you so please, you can hop in and talk to our little virtual fish. You might have a chance to win a blue sky code while you're in it. Anyway, sorry about the interruption. Back to condition bleed. Um, I have a question for you, as I do for all of our callers, and my question of the day this week is, what does the, if you're familiar with the term Y2K aesthetic, which is kind of the theme mm -hmm. of the evening, uh, what does... What is uh, your best Y2K memory, or what does Y2K mean personally to you? Because uh, Y2K means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, and uh, means a lot to me, obviously, but what about yourself? Oh my goodness. That is such a deep question. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, for me, the the I, I suppose the, the defining thing about Y2K is, is or my memory of it, is growing up, you know, I was probably um, eight or nine around that that era, right? Of like, um, uh, uh, when uh, how, how how do I put it? It's 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 the it's the graphic design, um, and more specifically, sort of that Y two K graphic design in print media is what always brings like jumps into my mind. It's uh, it's you know uh, um, going to the mall and picking up flyers for the new Walkmans, you know, or or like uh, um, maybe a little bit later, later sort of in the towards the mid two thousands, you know, uh, um, like Nokia was enormous, and like looking at that sort of advertising in that era, right? Um, yeah. Is, is probably something that I look back on. I um, agree, and there was still so much print at that time. That's people something that people don't really yeah. realize when they look back. Um, I think about uh, the Designers Republic all the time. Obviously, I mentioned White oh, yeah. earlier, and they were super involved in that, but most of their stuff was in print. But, um, yeah, Absolutely. I, I, Absolutely. I, 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 I agree with you there. Uh, do you have uh, any choice words for Seaman? you find anything in the vocab list that you want to share with our little fish? Uh, I'm, I mean... I did really like I did really like Hayden Spin's question, and my immediate response to the vocab list was to control F and try to find either break or <laughs> Amen. 
Well, uh, unfortunately, can, they're not on there. You can I'm try. I'm not sure if it's worth trying. You can try. Um, you can try. I'm in break, jungle, drum and bass, uh, whatever you want to try. If Kasima doesn't recognize it, that's okay, but you can still give it a go. Um, if you, whatever you want to, whatever your phrase is, uh, what I want you to do is I want you to give me a countdown from three, two, one. So if you're going to say the word Apple, I want you to go, okay, three, two, one, Apple. And so that's okay. all I need from you. So whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay. One second. So. Okay. No worries. So is it is it three words, then? Yeah, you get th you get three words, but you say one at a time, and you give me a countdown before yes. each one. Okay. Um. Uh. All right. Okay. Uh. Does it need to be v noun verb modifier? Uh. Nope. Just one of the words from the vocab list. Okay. Um. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Okay, ready? All right, ready. I'm gonna three, two, one. Uh, three, two, one. Elman. Yeah. Unrecognized. Could you try that again? Uh, three, two, one. Amen. Yeah. That was recognized, and it was okay. it accepted enthusiastically. So Good. that seems to be one of Good. Seaman's interests. That bodes well. Yeah. Okay, uh, ready for the next one? Yes. Okay, three, two, one. Break. My, my, my. Break was recognized, but I don't okay. know how to read that response. Seaman's smiling, but I don't know how to interpret mar, mar, mar. They're still nonverbal at this time, but they are learning to speak very slowly. Okay, all right. All right, you got one more? Um... Uh, Will this work if I raise it as a question? Is that if I say as a question? Um, or does it need not, to be just like... Uh, it, like? It can't be very long. Seaman can only listen for about a second at a time. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's uh. Let's go. Let's go with this one then. Okay. Right. So three, two, one. Massive. Yes. <laughs> wow! You got Seaman's second word. <laughs> <laughs> you said massive, and Seaman said yes. What a power play from our little guy here. Um, it is going to be interesting. I don't know if you know this. Seaman's um, very first accepted word was Austin Powers. So we are, um, we are raising the children questionably. But um, no, you were three for three. Seaman Sea -Man liked what you were putting down. Okay. Well, um, yeah, thank you for calling in. I appreciate it. I think that uh, answers the question then. I guess yeah, he does he, know about the Ammon break. I think he does. And um, thank you for helping us uh, feel that out. Um, oh, thank, pleasure. Thank you for, pleasure. for calling in. And um, if, if anything, if I may, yes. while, I'm, while I'm here, can I, can I ask a question maybe from, from chat? Do you pronounce it Amen or Ammon break? Oh, that's a great question. I've because always said Amen break. Um, okay. but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the canonical pronunciation is. That's interesting, because I would say Armin break in the context of the of music, of the break itself, but I would say maybe Amen in a religious context. Interesting. Not that I'm religious, but I yeah. wonder if that's... if that dichotomy exists elsewhere. Yeah, I, um, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, chat, sound yeah. off about that if you're thinking about it. But in the meantime, I'm going to say thank you so much for calling yeah. in. I'm going to move on to our next caller. Much thank you for the opportunity. You. Of course. Thank you so much. All right. Well, that was our first caller of the night. And our second caller of the night will be longtime viewer of the Aqua Lounge, uh, Cabbage Man slash Spooky Swadloon. I don't know if you are part of the voice channel yet, but I'm going to make sure you are. Give me just a second here. All right, Spooky Swatalooms slash Cabbage Man. We're now patched in to the Seaman Live Voice channel. Join with your microphone in hand. We can have some conversations. Hello, Cabbage Man. I can see you, but I can't hear you. A little, uh, little mute icon there. You 
are muted. Hey, gamers. Hey, hey, hearing you loud and clear. You are on the air. Welcome to Seaman Live. Great to hear. Awesome. Well, uh, you have the uh, you have the vocab list. Loading up very, very, very soon. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to ask you, and you have, I don't know, I know you are a Y2K head. I know that for a fact. So, um, what say you when I say, what does Y2K mean to you? Or what stands out the most is the most, I don't know, important thing or personal thing or whatever Y2K immediately you associate that with. Tell me all about it. Overall, I think it's a positive outlook of life. Yeah, I agree. Um, so much of the um, the future tech in Y2K era stuff, all of the concept technology that was being circulated at the time, that's one of the things I really liked about it too, is that it was all about, I don't know, empowering people rather than, I don't know, now, you know, here I am auction, you know, just raffling off a code for yet another social media service. Uh, Y2K didn't really know what social media was, but it did know that you could talk to your friends anywhere you could go. Um, and so it was like a, yeah, it was a very optimistic, humanistic view of how tech would empower us. And I agree with you. That is something that's really important to me, too. Oh, yeah. Well, got any words for our little fish children? Well, because I am Spooky Swadloon, I'm going to say three, two, one, Pokemon. I have no idea how to interpret that. It did give you a little bit of a side eye. It was recognized. Um, but, I don't know. It, it's hard to tell how Seaman would react, because at the time, uh, Sega was probably very much under threat from the Pokemon Menace. But also, Seaman is kind of Pokemon-like. So, hard to yeah. tell. But uh, that, that was recognized, so uh, you're one for one so far. You, uh, Sweet. Okay, let's try another one. All right. Already done. Let's okay. see. Three, two, one. Ricky Schroeder. Uh, could you try that one again? Three, two, one. Ricky Schroeder. Loy. Loy. Not a fan of Ricky Schroeder. Aw. Yeah, Seaman's tastes seem a little bit um, hard to predict, um, but I do know that Seaman is known for being rude. We're not going to be able to find that out quite just yet, but speech is starting to appear, so I guess we'll find out the extent of how much of a snob Seaman is soon. But you're, you are two for two. Um, the technology is working great tonight, which is a pleasant surprise, given the, the, the rough tech start to the stream. But you do have one yeah. more phrase for Seaman, if you'd like to pass it on. So, let me know when you're ready. Why swim in water when you can swim in three, two, one root beer? Fifway. I have no idea how to interpret that. Fifway. This Seaman... I don't like the face on this Seaman. I'm just going to establish that. This is the shifty looking one. Um, yep. But maybe he's being a little opaque on purpose, but I don't know what... Like, how would a Seaman even drink root beer? That's my question. Does it drink root beer through the little vampire thing on its head? Do you just pour it into the water? Do you have to offer it up through a straw? I'm not really sure. I'd say pour it in the water. But then you'd have root beer water. What if... Oh, I don't know. Weird. Hmm. That's, a, that's an existential question, I do believe. But, the Seaman were receptive to your words, and I do appreciate you calling in. Any any um, parting parting wisdom for Seaman or for the chat um, before, you, before you take off? I just want to say, play it loud. Play it loud indeed. I agree 100%. Aqua Lounge is a place for playing it loud. Thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate you coming by as often as you do. You too. All right, catch you later. All right, that's two, two of our three callers for the evening. And 
The Blue Sky Code giveaway is coming up soon. But we have one more caller for the night, and that would be our friend in the Discord, C. Thomas Pinnock. And I'm going to add you over to the C-Man Live voice chat here. All right. Got to see Thomas Pinnock. You are now added in the C-Man Live voice chat on Discord. Head on over into the voice channel. You'll have your opportunity to talk to the fish. In the meantime, if you are interested in the Blue Sky Code giveaway, this is your last chance to join the Discord server where you're going to need to be in order for your chance to win the precious code. I'm going to post that link in chat one more time. And in the meantime, I believe we have a C. Thomas Pinnock here in the voice chat. Hello. Hello? Hello, I can hear you. All You're right, cool. You are live on the air. Welcome to C-Man Live. <laughs> now. All right. <laughs> do you have the C-Man vocabulary list loaded up? I do. Okay. Well, before I um, grill you on what you want to ask these little guys, I want to ask you... Um, what does Y2K mean to you? Y2K aesthetic, Y2K the time period, Y2K the philosophy, Y2K the vibe. Um, what, if, if you had to summarize what Y2K and Y2K aesthetic means to you, what would it be? I think Y2K to me is like the belief that technology can still be like a positive force like for the world as a whole. Like it, it's that like... <laughs> hmm. That's such a hard question but it's, it's like that feeling that like before the internet became such a negative place it's it's that promise that it could still be good yeah i agree there is this like promise that the internet would be good and also enlightening um that i don't know how we would be sharing knowledge with one another would I don't know, lead to everybody knowing more and understanding more and empathizing more and technology kind of bridging that gap and becoming more human. There was so much like wearable stuff in Y2K concept work. Wearables were a huge part of it and like even biocomputing. But I think it all does come back to um, that promise, that belief that technology would improve the human condition. So much agreed um, and well put. Cool, yeah. <laughs> um, now, have some choice words for C-Man. I do. Uh, there's a lot of things that are that are standing out to me on this list, but I'm going to do first uh, three, two, one. Evangelion. Wow. Unrecognized. Let's try that again. Okay. Three, two, one. Evangelion. Wake up. You know, it's funny. You are not the first person to ask Evangelion to the Sea Man, <laughs> and you are not the first person to not have them recognize it. I think they might be expecting Evangelion, or no? You're saying Evangelion? I don't know yeah. if they're expecting Evangelion. I don't really know. Um, so we have not had any luck uh, getting Ava across to them, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's, it must be expecting a pronunciation that is not is not it has not survived in the modern vernacular, but. Um, you can call a mulligan on that one, and you can. You still have three. You still have three words. So uh, pick pick another one from the list. Okay, three, two, one. John Carmack. Uh, could you try that one again? Three, two, one. John Carmack. Uh, not going through for some reason. I'm sorry. Huh. Seaman is inside the cockpit of Ava. That's right. Seaman is swimming around in LCL. All right. Um, grab another one. Sorry, Seaman is turning a deaf ear to your cries. Okay. We'll we'll continue with the theme here, the All Pokemon right. theme, and do three, two, one. Pikachu. Did you try that one again? Sorry. Three, two. One Pikachu. It must not be picking up your voice very well. Huh. 
Let's try Pikachu one more time. Huh? Okay. Three, two, one. Pikachu. Abra? It did recognize Pikachu, and I have no idea how to interpret that response. The Seamen are being a little opaque tonight. Um, huh. They are, um, they're keeping their emotions close to the chest. Maybe that's something that they're, um, <laughs> this is going to spook a spooky loon in the chat. Maybe you got to pronounce it like the melee announcer does. He got you. you know. <laughs> but, uh, they're, no, they're going through something right now, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe they're moody teenagers in Seaman years. It's um, yeah, it's, there we go. It's hard to know. Um, I do believe the adult phase will be coming soon, um, if first words are any indicator. But um, yeah, grab grab another one. Let's uh, let's see if we can keep a good thing going. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Okay, three, two, one, id software. Can we try that one again? Three, two, one, id software. What's the point? Whoa! You hear that? Shady! What the <laughs> point? Does not huh. care for id software. That is the snarkiest I have ever heard, Seaman. <laughs> <laughs> they do not like, but Emma, come on, it was your buddy, it was like Quake 3 Arena was one of the only games to support the Dreamcast broadband adapter. Little guys, are, they're snot-nosed, they're pretentious. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see, you get, you get one more, one more positive register. So, uh, pick one last word that you see men might glean a okay. pearl of wisdom from. Three, two, one... David Bowie. Okay. David Bowie is okay. That is the verdict. I just want to say, um, you, more than any other caller so far, have verbally communicated with Seaman. Seaman has spoken back to you, which is <laughs> kind of a first. Um, well, not quite I've a first. I've communed there, with the Seaman. Yeah, you are communing with the Seaman, <laughs> and they're, I don't know... They are saying snarky things. <laughs> the Seaman does have an attitude problem. We're going to have to see if we can work that out. We'll have to put our heads together and see what we can do. But um, thank you so much for calling in, and thank you for being patient with the, the technical side of this. Uh, for those who don't know, um, this is literally running in to a Dreamcast microphone adapter on an audio splitter from my computer. So Stone Age technology here, empowered by the magic of Discord. But thank you so much for um, calling in. I really appreciate that. And thank you for sharing your thoughts on Y2K as well. Hey, no problem. It's fun. Yeah, I'll catch you on the flip side. See ya. All right, folks. That was tonight's Seaman Live. Now, I hope you are in the Aqua Lounge Discord for our Blue Sky Code Giveaway. That's right. We're going to give away a code to Blue Sky, the social media app of tomorrow yesterday? Nobody's quite sure. But I do know that I have one code. So if you are ready and willing to get a Blue Sky invite, I'm going to ask a question in the Discord. I'm going to ask a question in the Discord, and I'm going to ask it over stream as well. But you got to answer in the Discord. Give me just a moment to type it out, and I'm going to let you know when I'm going to send it. Alright, I'm going to send it in the chat, and I'm going to say it here, and the first person to answer in the Discord gets the code. Get your keyboards ready, get your phones ready. What real-life historical figure is voice sampled in the Jet Set Radio classic track, Concept of Love? Put in your answers now. First answer is incorrect. Second answer is incorrect. Third answer is incorrect. Fourth answer is incorrect. Stakes are high. I wish I could be streaming the Discord right now. It 
it's uh, it's popping off. You are not far away, I will say. Correct. Condition Bleen gets it with Stokely Carmichael. Congratulations, Condition Bleen. You're going to Blue Sky. Everyone else, I'll get another code in two weeks. I'll stream again. I just sent you the code. Uh, come on. Yes, yes. Allow access. Uh, don't make me do a capture on a stream. That's just... Gosh. I just sent you your blue sky code over Discord. Congratulations and welcome to the next level or to the next fad, flash in the pan fad website. In the meantime, I'm going to hop on over and play a little bit of a game called Slip Dream Resonator. Try saying that five times fast. Get some practice. We'll be right back. <laughs> 